North Korea leader Kim Jong-un has threatened to wipe out a South Korean island as Pyongyang came under new economic and diplomatic fire from U.S. sanctions and uncharges of gross rights abuses. Military tensions on the Korean peninsula have risen to their highest level for years, with the communist state under the youthful Mr. Kim threatening nuclear war in response to unsanctions imposed after its third atomic test last month. It has also announced its unilateral shredding of the 60-year-old Korean War Armistice and non-aggression pacts with Seoul in protest at a joint South Korean US military exercise that began on Monday. In 2010, the South Korean naval vessel Kyonan was sunk in the area of Binyan with the loss of 46 lives, and later that year North Korea shelled the nearby island of Yanpyeong, killing for people. On a visit on Monday to frontline artillery units, Kim Jong un briefed officers on their mission to strike and wipe out the enemies on Binyan and turn the island into a sea of fire. Once an order is issued, you should break the wastes of the crazy enemies, totally cut their windpipes, and thus clearly show them what a real war is like, Mr. Kim was quoted as saying by the Korean Central News Agency. The disputed sea border off the west coast was the scene of deadly naval clashes in 1999, 2002, and 2009. Residents on a number of frontline islands have reportedly taken to sleeping in their clothes in preparation for a nighttime alert. The crisis represents an early test for South Korea's new President Park Geun Hye, who was sworn in only two weeks ago, while analysts worry about just how far the inexperienced Kim Jong un is willing to go. U.S. spy Chief James Clapper on Tuesday told senators he was dismayed by the very belligerent rhetoric coming from the Kim regime and was very concerned about what they might do. In an annual report on global threats the National Intelligence Director said the North would likely only use nuclear weapons if it perceived a threat to its survival, but the U.S. remains uncertain how Pyongyang would define such a threat. Pyongyang came under attack on another front at the Unhuman Rights Council in Geneva, where the unspecial rapporteur on human rights in North Korea laid out a litany of abuses and crimes against humanity. Rights violations in North Korea have reached the critical mass, Marzuki Daris Mann told the council citing public food deprivation, torture and arbitrary detention.